Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Let's take 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension of their St. ECM Ensemble. So you're going to try to come weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us into the last stages of June. I should get on that for you. In a moment, just to say that the first video we see was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and also a release extended European outlook as well. Please check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gauss Weather Vids. Thank you so much everyone. Hey, having a lovely Tuesday. Feels like Monday, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the sensing temperature. So CT is now sitting at 14.13 degrees above 61 to 99. Average active visual to yesterday, the 27th of May. Can we hang on to the 14s before month's end? It's going to be a close run thing. Um, I think, but I mean, we should be okay for like the, uh, the modern record. Anyway, 13.6 from 1992 is the recent high record. There is a even higher one way back in the 1800s, as we explained a couple of weeks ago. But like for the modern CT record, it's 13.6 from 1992. I think we're going to beat that. Uh, this time, so um, we shall see anyway where we land up. We'll find out on Saturday, I think, where that comes out. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Birmingham today, the red line, no, not London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're saying we are hovering around average at the moment, a little bit above actually, but it's associated with an area of low pressure at a warm sector. However, after that, we're going to find the upper air temperature beginning to slide as we go through closing days of May and into the opening days of June. Beyond that, further on through the first week of June, we find the upper air temperature lifting back up again, becoming quite warm, maybe for time around the 5th, 6th of June, and then hovering close to the long term. 30-year uh, average as we go for the first week and into the second week of June. Not a particularly big deviation. There are one or two hot outliers starting to appear up here, but um, it just looks like we could be generally close to or a little bit above average through the first week of June, close to a little bit below average through the closing days of May. Precipitation-wise, we've got some more showery conditions to come over the next few days. There's a winter of drier weather that's opening up now, though, the first week or so of June just here and then possibly things getting more unsettled again as we go through the second week of June we might start seeing rainfall coming back then Temperature normally is from the 28th of May to 5th of June, around average, a little bit below myself, a little bit above in the north, not a particularly big deviation either way. And precipitation anomalies from the 28th of May to 5th of June, a little bit driving average in the west, otherwise near normal. Again, not particularly big deviations, but if anything, perhaps a little bit on the drier side in the week ahead. The latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that we've got an area of low pressure just to the west of Scotland today, and we're bringing up this uh, southwesterly flow. There's a weather system in the mix as well that's bringing outbreaks of rain. Behind that uh, rain, we will have heavy, potentially even rather fungi showers. Right, let's start going through chart data then. We saw latest UK met Euro run. It's looking midnight on Friday. Low pressure in the North Sea, high pressure in the Atlantic. And we're bringing in the wind from uh, a rather cool northwesterly direction. Into Saturday and Sunday, high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic. Starting to settle things down a little bit, turning things uh, rather drier and warmer over the weekend. And then on into next week, the high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic as low pressure deepens between Iceland and Scotland. And that could start to bring down some cooler air from the northwest. There would also be a cold front that's associated with that as well through the elongation of the ice bars there. And that could bring some uh, showery rain with it. So maybe quite a warm weekend. Temperatures into below 20 Celsius, mainly dry, but turning cooler and more showery next week. I can't again, with high pressure out to the west on Friday, bringing that northerly wind. But over the weekend, the high pressure that's ridging into the country should bring uh, drier and somewhat warmer weather over the weekend as well. Into the beginning of next week, that high pressure sits around. So unlike what UK Met show, an icon doesn't take that high pressure away to the northwest and start bringing in sort of a northwesterly or northerly wind. Actually, icon just has the ridge through the country. Again, bring quite a bit 
of dry and relatively warm weather with it. We've got the GFS Midnight Run, again, with the high pressure out to the west and pulling down those uh, northwesterly winds as we go through Friday. Into the weekend, high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic, bringing quite a lot of dry and relatively warm weather. What does GFS do about high pressure next week? Starts to pull it back out into the Atlantic, introduces a cooler northwesterly wind. Um, now, it doesn't get the high pressure completely up to Greenland, but it does certainly bring some cooler air into Scotland. Meanwhile, England and Wales, though, stays under reef, so mostly dry next week for England and Wales, and probably quite warm down in the south too. We're beyond day 10 now, so we're a long way out, but high pressure up towards Scotland, low pressure somewhere to the west of Biscay, bringing the wind from like an easterly direction. That could bring some quite warm air in from the east, but it looks like it turned increasingly unsettled there by the 10th of May. You've got some low pressure to the south and also to the southwest, so it could bring some heavy showers, maybe some long spells of rain. And we end up with GFS Midnight Run under a ridge of high pressure, mostly dry and probably relatively warm. Quite a bit of dry weather there on that GFS run. Let's see how the 6 8 compares. Again, we've got high pressure out to the west, low pressure to the east on Friday. Down comes this rather cool and potentially showery northerly wind. Over the weekend, high pressure sort of building through the country, bringing quite a lot of dry weather with it. Relatively warm with that high pressure too. Through to the end of next week, the high pressure increasingly moving out to the west of the country, so some cooler air gets into uh, the north. Up toward day 10, we're having a better go at getting the high pressure towards Greenland and dropping in something more showery and cooler into the northern half of the country. Well, that takes us through to the weekend of the 8th and the 9th of June, where pressure is just generally weakening in situ with uh, lower pressure bringing showery conditions uh, as it does so. And uh, rather cool with those northwesterly to northerly winds as well through the second week of, uh, of June. But by the end of the GFS, 6th February, gets to the 13th of June, again, high pressure is re-establishing to the south. So turning drier and warmer again there as we approach the uh, middle part of the month. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around two, two subscribers. We'll get us to 18.2k. We are very close to 18.2k now. So if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much everyone for doing that for Gals Weather. It's okay, GM, again, high pressure out to west, low pressure east on Friday. Down comes that rather cool showery northerly and then over the weekend high pressure building in been quite a bit of dry and uh, warmish weather with it that high pressure sticking around through the early part of next week again a lot of dry quite warm weather with that um actually the gm really gm really goes to town with high pressure next week and starts to drift that high pressure towards the east actually so by the end of it day town we could well be bringing some very warm air from the east, look at the upper air temperature, plus 10 cells iceberg through the country, plus 15 cells iceberg down to the south. There is a fungi low that's threatening from France and Biscay, but, uh, you know, the GM really getting quite warm next week. That could get the temperature into mid to upper 20 Celsius, I think, as uh, next week progresses. So a real taste of summer there, actually, with the GM through the first week of June. Wow, wow, wow. Getting interesting, isn't it? And then the east, yeah, let's see how that's looking. Get winds in from the north on Friday, rather cool and showery, and then over the weekend, high pressure builds in from the west, should bring a lot of dry, relatively warm weather with it, won't be heat wave, but on the cool side of the high, remember with high out there, the wind flow and direction will be coming in from that sort of direction, so it's a little bit of a cooler side, you know, but should be relatively pleasant, sun strong in early June, so uh, we'll see the temperature at least to the upper teens or below 20 Celsius anyway next weekend, and lots of dry weather, hopefully plenty of sunshine, um, oh, get the barbecue, season, get the barbie on, <laughs> and then beyond that through next week, the high pressure with the ECM pulls out to the west most, so unlike the GEM, which really goes to town on building the high pressure over to the east of the country, turns things very warm. The ECM actually turns things cooler. It takes the high pressure away to the northwest through next week and brings down this uh, northwesterly or northerly flow, which actually lower the temperature as the week goes along and probably brings some showers to northern and eastern areas too. Now, quite a bit of uncertainty about where this high pressure is going next week. It will make a big difference to the feel of the weather. 
uh, through next week, definitely. This is the precipitation forecast based on that each and run from tometro.com. Shadow rain pushing eastwards across the country through today, followed by sunshine and showers. And then we've got more showers through the middle part of the week. Some of them could be quite heavy. Heading on into the weekend, high pressure builds over the country, brings quite a bit of dry weather with it, just one or two scattered showers here and there. Uh, by the end of the East Shell Run, though, you notice showers are pushing back down from the north on those northwest east storey winds, so it turns cooler and it turns more showery as we go through days 9 and 10. These are the options we're on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. It gets us to the 7th of June. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the east and high pressure is out to the west and that could bring the wind in from a cool northerly or northwesterly direction at day 10. We've got 15 with quite deep low pressure over the top of the country, cool and showery. We've got 10 with high pressure to the west, that brings quite a bit of dry and uh, could be quite cool weather with it but the trough is up towards Scandinavia with that one so you know, it's not too bad. It would be mostly dry and I think pleasant anyway. And then we've got six with um, high pressure in the Atlantic and away to our uh, east. Low pressures between Iceland and Scandinavia and down towards France and Biscay. So that's quite messy, but it's probably turning more unsettled between the two ridges there. But the majority of quite a strong majority actually, is looking quite cool and unsettled at day 10, to be honest. Despite that GEM run, and maybe the hints from the GFS as well, um, we've got 20 and then we've got 15, so 35, but actually look quite cool and unsettled at, uh, at day 10. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options, no one we're doing, at two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 12th of June, 13 members of the ECM ensembles with quite deep low pressure through the west of Europe, quite cool and settled with that. 11 with low pressure just to our uh, west and south west again, rather unsettled. Probably warmer with that though. Winds with that are coming up from more of a southwesterly direction from lows out to our west, whereas with this one, um, winds are more from the northwest into that low pressure. But they are both unsettled. 10 uh, with a ridge away to the uh, northeast and to our south. Some sort of trough in the Atlantic. That could be a little bit on the unsettled and showery side. We've got nine with low pressure just to the south. That would bring quite unsettled bed with it. And then we've got uh, eight with high pressure from the Atlantic into West of Europe. A range of options, but I think the majority really are looking rather showery and maybe a little bit unsettled for both day 10 and day 14, actually. So despite the hints, you know, very complicated scenario bits because we've got, like, the ECM, or the UKM, I should say, looking rather cool and showery. We've got ICOD hinting that we're going to have a prolonged spell of quite dry and warm weather. GFS is, like, oscillating between drier and warm set conditions on each rub. Uh, Gem really going to town on high pressure next week and could potentially turn very warm. And then the ECM starts off with high pressure next week in terms of being cooler and showery. And the ECM ensembles are really going in that direction as well. So a lot of uncertainty for next week. It will all be revealed, but um, the key is going to be where that high pressure goes. Will it stick over the country, keep things mostly dry and quite warm? Or will it go towards Greenland, turn things cooler and more unsettled and showy? Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen next week. Right, finally, the CFS B2. These are 500 millibar height anomalies breaking down to week periods. The first week period takes from the 28th of to 3rd of June. The next week, we'll have high pressure to the west and also to the east with low pressure down across France. And so, that should bring quite a dry weather with it, but it could turn a bit more showery into the south at times. Week 2. Here's the floor to the temperature. The high pressure goes into the Atlantic. The trough drops in Scandinavia. And that brings the wind in to a northwest or northerly direction. Cool and showery. Week 3. Three is going to be the 11th to the 17th of June. With a mid-Atlantic ridge up towards Greenland. Probably some sort of trough through here. That could be rather showery. And a bit on the cool side as well. But week 4 brings high pressure back. It's the 18th. 24th of June, high pressure returns towards Iceland and also to our east. Probably some sort of lower pressure down here, and that might bring in some quite warm air 
from eating some from the selfies that could turn volatile, of course, in the south if you do have some low pressure threatening from this. Yeah, you've got low pressure down there. Could turn things funky into the south. We'll see. Long way off, four weeks away. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And sure, sure, do that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals World. Weather things. We thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, I should just tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have the 6 m UK weather forecast, of course, and there'll be a technical warning day as well, rather quiet today on a Wednesday. So um, check out those two bits tomorrow. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, though, and for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.